Hi guys, this is the Divine Irony from Ghost in the EU. On my Let's Play Shaman now, uh, for part 77 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. As you can see, I had a red helmet there because I just died repeatedly to those raging colossuses. Yes, I think that's a word. Colossus. Colossi. Is that the plural to Colossus? Colossi? I assume it is. Now we're handing in a lot of quests to the Scenarian Holds here. Uh, this um, little Scenarian uh, Druid here wants us to summon this thing. Just summons it, doesn't help whatsoever, and expects us to kill it. Now, if my spirit worlds were not up when I tried to do this quest, uh, I would have been dead. Now, you're probably wondering how I didn't know this quest existed. Well, I'd never done this quest in my, any of my other characters, so that's the only quest I think I've done in, in Hellfire Peninsula, which I haven't done. So yeah, that's the only quest I haven't done in Hellfire Peninsula, and I was completely... Um, I was completely shocked when that thing just popped out of nowhere, and the Night Elf didn't do anything to help. Now, we've gone to talk to these two little dwarfs here, because these are the dwarfs who are going to make us do the last few quests uh, we're going to be doing in Hellfire Peninsula. Now, it's, it's this all is going to be doing just south of the Blood Elf type um, flight path and quest zone the Horde know about. I don't know what it's called. It might be called Scarlet Point or something. I'm not really sure what it's called because I've never leveled the Horde here and I haven't paid that much attention. But yeah, this place is directly south. Uh, what we need to do, well, actually what we're doing at the moment here is we're do kill doing the Rampaging Ravagers quest which requires to kill 10 Ravagers and these can be found just north of the of the dwarfs, basically. Now, we did that quest. We're not going to uh, fly right back to them to hand it in. Because we also have another quest called Gaining Mirren's Trust. Which requires us to get a Nevergard Bitter. Now, where is the Nevergard Bitter, do you ask? Is it in the Hornhold Inn? No, it's not. It's not in the Hornhold Inn. Sorry, guys, about that. Uh, someone interrupted me by knocking on the door. Scared life out of me for no reason. Because it was in the complete uh, thick of it. Uh, we went into this Honold Inn, as you can see, no one ever got bitter anywhere. The reason is, you need to go back to the Eastern Kingdoms. Yeah! We have to fly through this portal here, we're through the portal, and we have to go to the Nevergard Keep. Now, the bonus is not just the fact that we have to go back to the Eastern Kingdoms. Yes, some people might interpret that as a bonus. Um, we're going to have to go to this keep and talk to one of the guys and we can buy a Nevergard Bitter uh, from one of the innkeepers or something. It's in one of these camps anyway. Uh, we also are going to be going to Stormwind to get new abilities for level 62. Now it's not this keep if you can tell, it's the, it's the keep over there. Turn around please. There you go. It's in one of these keeps. It's this guy. You get some Nevergard Bitter. We only got one because that's all we need. And we're going to be flying to Stormwind. Now, do watch you don't click on the Nevergard Bitter in your bags because it is a item you can use. So don't make yourself have to go all the way back to Nevergard Keep in order to complete the quest again. Now, we're jumping, as you can see, to our Shaman Quest Giver. Not really ma that much new abilities. We got Fire Nova Totem, Lightning Ball, Chain Heal, and Water Shield rank ups. But nothing really that uh, interesting. I guess uh, Water Shield and Chain Heal can be uh, decent. Uh, we're in Shatruff now. We're flying in our Snowy Griffin. Yeah, we don't have to deal with the Aldo lift anymore. Yeah. We uh, are on this uh, Snowy Red Griffin now. And we're going to be flying to the Honor Hold. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're in the Honor Hold. We logged out, I think, there. And we're going to be flying to the Temple of Telemat, as you can see here. And going south, 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 south. And we're going to kill another one of these raging colossus using our spirit wolves. And yeah, it's still the only way we can kill these raging colossus, guys. Still the only way. Sigh. Uh, I don't even understand why these sp spirit wolves heal you, because there's nothing in the talent description that says they heal you. I just don't understand why they do it. I, I guess it must be a hidden ability or something, because I don't see it. As you can see, I tried to pull another one again without spirit wolves, and I died. Well, the spirit, I didn't pull one without spirit wolves. I pulled one, and the spirit wolves didn't last for that very long. Now, we're doing a quest um, for the Scenarian... Uh, expedition again. We need to kill a lot more Ravagers. Yes, we're killing more Ravagers in this video again. It's a Ravager-tastic 
I know it, that's not even a, that's not even a, a, a clever use of phrase there. It, it's a ravager tastic video today. Uh, we have to kill eight eight fawnfang ravagers, and we need to kill eight fawnfang ravager venom sp venom spitters. So yeah, we need to kill eight fawnfang venom spitters and eight fawnfang ravagers. Uh, the problem is, there's a lot more Ravagers around than Venom Spitters. Uh, the good thing, however, is the Ravagers don't hurt as much as the Venom Spitters, who use a poison or a disease on you that hurts quite a bit. Yeah, they use Venom Spit, which does quite a bit of damage. Now, these are the Von Fonfang Venom Spitters. We've killed all the necessary Ravagers already. So what we're going to be doing is just pulling these things and whacking them with our big, 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 big axes. Or, oh, in the case of us, a mining pick. Yes, I do realise that was an improved mace for us, but I wasn't going to use a healing or spell damage mace uh, as a freaking enhancement shaman, so I just vendored that mace. Yes, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm not disenchanting them, because I do have an enchanter. Uh, I don't... The stuff for Burning Crusade mats is not worth the hassle of in disenchanting them and then selling them the auction house. It just isn't worth the hassle. Now, if you're wondering, we are going a little bit into Zangamash here. We will be in Zangamash in the next um, video because we've almost completed all the um, all the Hellfire Peninsula quests anyway. Uh, we just have to come in here to kill the last Fawnfang Venom Spitters, and um, we're going to hand in some quests to the Scenario Expedition now. We're going to go into the these Shinari wastes here, which is no. We're, we're going into the ruins of Shatar here, I think. And we need to collect 10 of these urns. Yes, they're called relics, but they're really just urns or jugs, really. Uh, the problem is that um, right by every jug, there is a... Um, what are they called again? Taskmasters. You have to kill them to order to get the jugs. But the good thing is that they're so easy to kill now. It's insane. Uh, this dreg hood, by the way, I had to kill because there was no Taskmaster around it. And so it could not become... Uh, it could not become neutral or friendly to us, so I had to kill him. Uh, that was the big thing, by the way, so watch out for that thing, because he can kill you if you're not careful. He is very difficult to solo um, if you do don't use that. Um, you don't use that uh, kind of whatever you call it, the uh, staff we used in the previous video. Uh, we're going to kill a few more of these taskmasters here because we need to. We've got all the Shinar relics now, so we we really have got most of our quest experience now. We're going to hand in some stuff to the Scenario and Expedition. We're going to pull another Raging Colossus because our spirit wolves are off cooldown. So we're going to kill this Colossus now very, very quickly. What the hell was that? There was kind of a weird buzz in the back of my ears and my headset. Weird. Um, we're going back to the Temple of Telemat now to hand in a quest to the guy in here. Uh, he wants us to go to Sedai's corpse again. So we go to Sedai's corpse and we actually see what actually happened. What actually happened was the Magar had nothing to do with it. The Magar uh, took the Drenna away saying there was going to be no peace. Uh, some Laughing Skull Guardians came and killed the Magar people. So the Magar thought that uh, so the Magar thought that the Draenei had killed the Magar, and the Magar had come to kill the Draenei. Yeah, it's a very complicated set of events that happened, but we just killed the Magar for no reason, basically. So upon hearing this, nothing really much to say. Uh, we're going back to those dwarfs now because we can hand in the Nevergard Bitter Quest and the Quillfang Ravager Quest, and as you can see, we're getting a lot of experience from doing these quests. Uh, so we're going to hand them in to these guys now. Hello, little dwarfs. Uh, we got to never get bitter to him. Now, the two quests we're going to be doing in this video and the start of the next video are the Finest Down quest, which is a quest requiring requires us to get eight Kaliri feathers. You can either get these Kaliri feathers from killing these Kaliri birds or by... Uh, Clicking on the eggs and they have a Cleary spawn that you can kill that Cleary in order to get another Cleary feather. And the other quest we're doing is the Arakoa Fret, which requires us to kill eight uh, Haleshi Windwalkers, no, no, four Haleshi Windwalkers and six Haleshi Talon Guards, which is quite an easy quest to do considering there's a lot of them. Now, the other quest we're doing is after we've killed this, um, this guy who almost killed us, if you notice there. 
If you kill this Avfu with his named mob, he gives you a quest to take an orb to the Haleshi altar. And we'll be doing that in the next video, guys. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. I know I've been rambling a bit for the last two minutes. Uh, but peace out, guys, and I hope to see you in part 78, where we will finally be heading to Zangamash.